Hello everyone and welcome to this 3D printer build of this Creality Ender 3 V2 which I extend to 600 millimeters of building area in Z. So this is a DIY project I did myself with my own research and some trial and error. So to start off the project, I had an old machine which I took apart, mock up some parts and saw if the project was even possible to implement. Okay, so I have taken the machine apart into two parts, so the upper loop here. Uh, I have taken off and I'm going to replace it with these two profiles here. But before I can do that, I have to have to do some threads here in the end. I have started with one, uh, but I have to do the other one as well. So yeah, that's next. So here I have it, it looks really weird, but uh, these profiles here are 800 millimeters and now I have like raised this all the way up and uh, I get out like perhaps 65 centimeters of building area. So that's good, I guess. Uh, and also I need to, I have this which I can put here and also I need to uh, yeah, triangulate this to do it more like steady so yeah but uh, this is a good start okay, a little bit longer on the journey here so I have started to triangle the 3d printer and also I put the top piece on here. Uh, so here I have put some brackets on, also down here. And I have do, done some joints here to do the rod. And I think this rod is a little bit small or thin. So uh, like you see here. So I'm planning to, when it's done, when I have the measurement and everything, I can put a carbon fiber or um, aluminum rod over it. So yeah, this is where I'm currently at also. Everything clears here, all the way up. So yeah, it's coming along. guys so I have done one side of the triangle supporting rod here so I did it with a yeah this aluminum rod here or pipe maybe you can say so I put two of these on top of each other so it's more or less like solid in here uh, and it's much more stable on this side compared to this side uh, it is and I I can try like this and if I need more I can put I think one one more on top of this so it become even stiffer so yeah here is the rods or pipes uh, so yeah so the smaller one goes inside the bigger one and then it goes on top of the rod so yeah that's for now So here I have changed the machine to another Ender 3 V2 
but this machine is a little bit upgraded with the direct drive and some other upgrades. So now it's back together hardware wise. So yeah, uh, the triangulation here is done and the motors are back in position. And yeah, I need longer rods, which I'm waiting for. And uh, yeah, now the next thing is to, to extend the cables here so it can reach to up here. And I uh, calculated the height here and it's going to be 600 uh, millimeters of uh, printing. And also I have this rod here. So this rod is going on top here and it's going to be a little bit of a surprise uh, of this build actually. So yeah. That's next. Now it's cable time and uh, cable routing. So yeah, I have put everything on the hot end here. This is uh, the backside. So yeah, the auto leveling probe, it's the hot end, it's the old fans, it's two of them and the extruder motor and everything. So yeah, and then I have uh, put it on the far end of its sweep and then routed it back down so this cable this is the extruder motor uh, it, it was long enough so this i don't have to extend uh, this motor here i have to extend so i had this like yeah this extension cord to stepper motors so i just pinned out two cables from this uh, so because i didn't want to have two that was not used here and then, I, here is these cables, uh, and then uh, the next thing is, yeah, here is the micro switch for the X sweep, so this is in there. So I have to extend this to up there, so I can take these, core, uh, these, uh, these cables and solder on, cut it here, chops, and solder on, so it can go to up there. After that is all of these cables, so I need to like, yeah, put like 50 centimeters or so it reaches down to the to the main board. back together the spool holder the extensions here the triangulation and also the rods and also the cables which are extended so I didn't show you the spool holder so much so this is just an aluminum profile with uh, these two brackets here some push lock uh, connections and a tube in between 
and uh, just to I just threaded some uh, threads into this hole here and then it's just a standard spool hole here with the uh, ball bearing so it works uh, really good so yeah like you see here cables here which uh, became really long and I used this spiral uh, tube over it so I can uh, undo it if uh, if it's anything wrong with the with the cables here. So that's also nice. Here on the back side, so yeah, the uh, triangulation here, which became really good. It's really steady. Now it's the table that flexes actually, and uh, also the rods here, which uh, became really good. And I did them a little bit longer if. I want to connect them here with uh, a belt or something. Uh, yeah, so now it's time for some uh, firmware update and then we can start to try it. The machine is printing and it's looking good. Also, the spool holder is working brilliantly, so that's a win. And now I'm going to show you how to set up a machine like this. So here in Cura, so this is the part I'm uh, you, uh, printing right now. So yeah. And uh, up here you go to manage printer and then you go to machine setting. And then here in Z or height you put in your amount, which for me is 600. And then you can slice object uh, which is be this big and you get this uh, box here. And you have to put it in the machine as well. So I think, I'm not 100% sure, but like 90. Uh, that you have to update the firmware so uh, you update the firmware and then you go to physical size or physical settings and you put in your amount which for me is 600 and then you push save because I didn't and the machine uh, got back to its original settings and stopped 25 centimeters up so yeah push save so yeah, I'm going to update you when this has come a little bit further. So here is one of the first prints done. So yeah, it's 438 millimeters in Z. And that's higher than any machine I got. So yeah, let's win. And now I want to see if I have anything even higher. So here is another part which was uh, 462 millimeters. Not enough to push the printer to its limit, but now I can print this kind of part. So why I build a machine like this is because I print car parts and I had trouble to find a supplier that could print this big economically. I hope this video was entertaining or helpful for your own project like this. Thank you so much for watching and please give a like, comment or subscribe. Thank you.